Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, the Up Chanel's 48th World. How are y'all doing today? Yes, we are family. That's what we need to keep telling ourselves because it is true. But when one of our family members do something unspeakable, then they must, they shall, they will get punished okay and pop popper is no different he's no different okay i ain't gonna lie to you i was still listening to his music when everybody was trying to condemn him this and that and the third because i can definitely departmentalize i can part compartmentalize uh his songs from his actions okay his songs from his actions you cannot say Pie Piper didn't get down with them uh, albums and those record sales, okay? I'm just saying. And the music was banging, especially in the, I think it was the 90s. He was really strong at the time with putting out hits. And every celebrity that was in the business, the music business, I'm saying, wanted a piece of him. They wanted him to produce a hit for them. Man, that's all the accolades I can say about him. Now, let's get on into the story. All right? I don't quite understand it myself. I'm like, technically, I thought the brother was already sentenced and, and, and doing his time, okay? Or, <clears throat> or something to that degree. But, hey, we finally got a verdict in. And, of course, we all knew what it was going to be. Okay, which we know what it is, guilty as charged. All right, but we had a survivor come out. And, of course, you know who got the, the scoop. They always getting the scoop on in and everything when it comes to pouring that hot tea, TMZ. Okay, woo, okay. This particular survivor is saying that the Pied Piper need to admit what he, he had done, okay, and probably what he will do if he got out again. All right, I'm just saying. He needs to admit what he did and seek therapy. And I'm like, well, that comes with a double-edged sword type of mentality as well. Because I don't know if you get that kind of therapy when you're going to be in jail for that amount of time. He gonna damn near be 80 years old. Or in his 80s. I mean, Bill already was in his 80s and look what they did to him. But... I don't know if it's good behavior or the elites decided that he has paid enough time and consideration. Maybe he made another deal with them and that's why he got out. Not really sure. Don't quote me on it. everything over here at the family. We just be chit chatting and making our own assumptions. Okay. We ain't saying nothing was true unless it came out to be sought and researched true tea. Okay. But. Yeah, I'm like, ah, that's kind of sketchy right there. When you're talking about getting help for something you already admitted to, they don't sentence you for, I pretty much think they just let you sit in jail and rot. Either you're going to do the time, okay, or you're going to die while you're doing the time. And that is going to be his early excuse, death, okay. <clears throat> but anyway, let's go, on. let's go on and get to the story that TMZ had brought out today, okay. They always on the grind. They are always on the grind. Ooh. If I had to do a second job after I retired and I wanted to do it for fun, nah, I take that back because I ain't I'm nosy, but I ain't that nosy. I ain't finna go just stalk somebody until they get um into some news I can report and get paid for. You see what I'm saying? Nah, I don't think I I nah. 
<laughs> that was just being me being a little gullible, okay? A little naive, and because mm -mm, I ain't doing no work after I retire unless it's charity work, and it ain't gonna be that much many hours being put towards that either, all right? But anyway, we got Kitty Jones, Kitty Jones, Kitty Jones, one of Pied Piper's executives who accused him of physical abuse and sexual coercion says there's only two ways he can fix himself. Taking accountability and serious therapy. And I was like, okay, let's see what she had to say um, on this subject here. Wait a minute, I think it's running commercial. Come on now. We don't want to see this t TV ad. Let's see, we skip this. Okay, here we go. Your time and your experience with him do you feel like him sitting and getting professional help could change the man that you knew the human side the part that made me feel for him i think so if he really accepted what he's done to people you know and took the accountability and just turned his life over to God. I don't know if he's still even, if he's still a believer, but, you know, I, that coupled with therapy, I'm not threatened by, I think, it, you know, if you take away the three years he's already done, and let's just say he, he does 20, okay? He's still going to be a 75-year-old man when he gets out on probation. I don't think that's a threat to society at this, at that point. So, um, I don't know. I think it's a lot. It just gives a lot of closure to myself and some of the others. I can't speak for everybody. I would never do that. But um, I'm just happy that he's off the streets and he can't affect other lives. Okay. Now, that is what she had to say about um, her thoughts on him getting help and him not really serving the 30-year term but hey how they been doing him how they been doing the pie piper he might serve all 30 years or they may subtract what he already served and, and subtracted for the 30 years since he's been incarcerated anyway you know he's been off the streets but um yeah that's what kitty had to say but going back into what tmz uh, wrote up about what Kitty had to say. They say Kitty says R. Kelly needs to accept the harm he inflicted on his victims and turn his life over to God. Plus making the most of the mental health treatment he's been ordered to undergo upon his prison release. Okay. As we reported, Kelly was recently sentenced to 30 years in federal prison following his conviction for nine federal charges including sex crimes and human trafficking. Kitty, who appeared in both Surviving R. Kelly's docs and gave a victim impact statement in front of Kelly at his sentencing, says she's happy uh, Kelly is off the street so he can't hurt more women. For Kitty, Kelly conviction is giving her some closure. She tells us why she doesn't think he was post he was posed much of a threat whenever he's released from prison, regardless of any changes he's made in federal lockup. Basically, she was saying that he's a 70 some year old man. He probably can't get it up. Um, ain't no sense of looking at him anymore. He's pretty much done. Okay, put a fork in it. But I'm like, oh, 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 oh. oh Lord, what did he not do? Is what I'm going to say. What did he not do that the elites wanted him to do? And then they just say, okay, you ain't going to do it. You ain't going to do it. I'm asking you for the last time. You ain't going to do it. Okay, we got some We got some ish for you coming up, brother. We got some ish for you. They probably laid low for a while. Let him really, really incriminate himself. And then somebody pulled the plug. Okay, just pull the rug up under his feet. And he fell. Oh, Lord, he fell hard. Okay, so that's my viewpoint. But I also like to add, you know, for the ones, the parents I'm talking about, the parents that actually took their children to concerts that he was performing at and they were not age appropriate at the time, guess what? I would have some sentencing for them as well. However long they stay with 
Pied Piper for him to try to mentor them or put them on the path of music success, they would definitely have those years served in federal prison. Okay, if I rule the world, or <laughs> let's not say that, but if I was the judge sitting on that platform sentencing him, yes, because you knew what your child was doing some of them actually brought their children to him by even going behind stage or asking can they go behind stage with their underage child you see what i'm saying he couldn't get to them some of them i should say unless the parents brought them to him and he didn't even ask for it now you see what i'm saying if this was russia we wouldn't have them problems over there. Because we already got Brittany over there. And she brought, you know, a little thing of, you know, hash or whatever you want to call it. CBD oil. And look where she at. She didn't really get time enough to enjoy the country. Before they cut clanked on her. And of course, you know, they're going to use it for a bargaining chip. They're going to want the U.S. to do something that we're not really supposed to do. But behind closed doors, our government is going to do it. Just to free Britney. Now see, when Britney got free to get free, definitely we're going to put her in rehab. Yeah, we're going to put her in rehab so she would never put no vapors up her mouth in her mouth no more and inhale them and definitely won't be used no cbd oil okay we would take her we would um put her in programs and she would have to serve for the rest of her life community service because that's a waste of our government going to try to come get you out of something you feel like you needed to have now i'm just saying when you in your own country in your own state do what you feel you need to do because you should know the rules and regulations. But when you go to another country and cut up, then there are going to be consequences. Strict, fast, and in a hurry. All right. So, I'm just saying, that's all I got for this video. I ain't got no more. But y'all get on down there in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it, okay? Y'all tell me what y'all feel about Pied Piper. Send this thing and him already serving time and what he feels uh, has gone wrong. Get down in the comments. I'm looking. I'm listening. And you know I'll be down there with you. Commenting uh, to you. Because you said something that made me laugh the hell off. Okay. And probably hit the floor when I was laughing. Okay. Cause I get those laughs. Or my family. YouTube family. Give me those laughs. Where I be really breathing in my good. Bringing it out. Like I was at a good comedy show. Or something like that. Because y'all are comedians y'all sales With some of the stuff that y'all be writing back to me. <laughs> okay. But I will see y'all next video. Bye bye.